Hey, have you heard about Squarespace Accordion not supporting images? Well, in this episode we will discuss about solutions and workarounds to make, instead of this, rather this. So let's get to it. Step 1 Alright, in step 1 we will edit the Squarespace page and we will create a new section. If you already have a section, then we will just add a new blog content. We will search for accordion. There it is, we click on it and now we have a brand new accordion. This can be resized. There is this grid system from Squarespace 7 where when we drag on it horizontally, it will snap to the certain column and when we drag vertically then it will snap to a certain row all right now we can edit the accordion and then we can edit individually that item accordion item as you can see it's pretty simple simplistic editor so you can add only text with bold italic and underline we'll just put a simple text here and the second text will be actually our image so we will add a text this will constitute the alternative text for the image so this is the alt attribute on the image and we'll put a bold on it because we want to add like a marker that will show that will signal that this will actually be something more special uh, special text. Step 2. We add the link on the bolded text and um, then we just go and select a file that could be a PDF or TXT but instead of that we will just add an image. So the link will actually target an image. Okay, we, we upload one or if we already have in the settings then we will just choose one, apply. And there it is, we have a text with a link that goes to an image. Okay, let's go and save our work and I already applied the JavaScript so let's see how our link looks like. So let's open the first item and there you have it, there is the image. Of course the script that we will write in step 3 will actually make the difference. It will turn our link into an image. So um, let's create by the way another text and another image. Uh, I will write the, another title and then put some Laura Mifson text to make it more natural looking. And this is the next image's uh, alternative text. This is a cat. We'll make it bold. We will create a link on it and we will attach in the URL the cat's image. There you have it, apply, uh, and then we just go and save our work. Let's see how it looks. Let's open again the item one. There is the giraffe image, the text, the Laura Mason text, and there is the image of the cat. Step three. Okay, I want to mention here that the injections menu and the custom CSS menu is only available on plans above personal plan in Squarespace. So if you have a personal plan, you won't see it. Okay, let's write our script in the footer.
and that's about it folks.